Hi, Bill Henshaw here again <clears throat> on my YouTube videos on current events. And this one is more of the BS going on with the Black Lives Matter movement. And I'll explain this more properly as this video goes on. But, and now they want to apparently do away with the state flag of Mississippi since it has the Confederate flag on it, as it's had for like 150 odd years. And the big deal here about that is everybody says, oh my God, that's racist, this and that. We can't have that. Not true. Um, yeah, there were elements with the war between the states and going back even further than that in a society that wasn't perfect. Uh, with not any question about that. Slavery wasn't the best thing ever invented. But also realize at the time that there were a lot of poor white sharecroppers, probably more than there were slaves that were very similarly positioned, not as bad off, but even if they had the right to vote, I wonder what percentage of them actually ever did it, uh, to cite one example. And no one talks much about that. So that said, the key thing here uh, in the Civil War, and I read an earlier excerpt from H.L. Mencken on an earlier video where he said that, you know, that the Lincoln got it wrong with the Gettysburg Address because the Union soldiers were fighting for a unionized national government. In fact, the Republican Party was actually known as the uh, National Union Party. And it was the Southerners that were fighting for local self-government, much more consistent with the framers of the Constitution and the original intent. And that's what they don't want you to know, because with these quasi-territories, to put it politely, Congress appears to have a lot more power than they would have in any of the states, to the point where the Donald has been mistakenly thinking he could send military troops in there, especially if the governors don't do their job. But a plain reading of Article 4, Section 4 says that can only be done on request of the legislature or the governor. You can't just go out there and willingly, willingly do it because then we have federal regional martial law, which we've pretty much had overtly for the last 85 years, if not the last 150. And it destroys the republic. There's no consent of the government. There's no nothing there. Republican form of government ain't forget about it trial by jury, none of it's there, and the 9-0 parts have ruled that way in a lot of cases that seem to be controlling case law. As you'll learn from getting my modestly priced constitutional defense document packets, and now my new COVID packet, that's not only not true, but every legal scholar, especially if you graduated from Starboard, Bayo, Berserkly, you ought to know damn well what it is I'm talking about here. We have to get the right cases there, the right status, and we get around all of this crap because the rulings that were made were not in any way related to what we will be doing with the programs I have, the unopposed issues I have, and now with an unprecedented window of opportunity to make a run at these bastards with a real shot to do some damage uh, and start restoring our republic. And if we don't do it now, who knows if or when it will ever happen. So that's the big deal here with the Confederate flag. They don't want you to know anything about what was really going on there. And by the way, with my document package, uh, if you get the full package, you get an 82 page brief on admission of new states 200 years ago, almost to the day. Most important issue that's ever come before Congress. And you read the excerpt of speeches I have in there uh, from John Holmes of Massachusetts for crying out loud and William Pinckney of Maryland talking about the deal with the admission of new states and it becomes obvious that that's how important that is. They're independent, self-governing, and only with limited power of the federal government involved. That's what we want and what we want to get back to so we don't have all this nonsense and this COVID crap and you name it these days. So this is the fight we're in. If we can get them back, and if we have our constitution, right to trial by jury, sovereign states, now most everything is done at the state level where it's a hell of a lot less expensive, it's more efficient and easier control because now we have responsible parties on the local level whereby we can instruct our representatives, you know, petition for redress of grievance and make changes a lot easier than you could in a national election, which if you don't know, we haven't had one of those since 1866. Uh, no president since then, no nothing. And you get all that in the document materials. I'm not making it up. It's not me saying it. 
So that said, this just has to stop. They've been dividing and conquering for way too long. And you get people out there like Jesse Jackson and Al Sharpton that probably know very well what I'm talking about here. And they're staying in positions of power on the backs of their own people and pleading this nonsense BS civil rights, which they know wasn't designed to work, isn't going to work, and all it's gonna do is create more problems and more federal, regional, martial law rule. So we get around to all that nonsense and we start to work together. And there's, thank goodness, with what's been happening here over the last few weeks, it, it, there are people now on a lot of wide spectrum that are coming together, at least instinctively understanding the situation. What I want to do is help educate you so you know what's going on and you get to the point where you can walk in and do what I did in South Carolina in my felony case, first appearance there. I shut the bastards up in 30 seconds. Courtroom was dead quiet. You can do the same thing. You don't have to be as good as I am and it won't take you 10,000 hours to get there like it did me in those stacks of those law library books. But boy, if I had a tape of that, that's a million dollars. I mean, that would go viral on the internet, but they claim not to have made one. Very convenient in a court of record, don't you think? But that's the sort of thing you can do and you put in my documents and now they get really apoplectic, angry, condescending, abusive. And when that happens in a quote unquote courtroom, you know you're doing the right thing because they know that you know the law and in all probability, they might not even the black robe bastard society i mean i don't know what they teach them in law schools these days you know i've never been to one never been brainwashed by one but my goodness my independent research uh, has turned up a lot of quite different things i would love to have heard when i was there and they didn't teach it then either 50 years ago so go figure anyway for more information send me an email you went in court at gmail.com like the videos subscribe tell your friends get the word out we have a real shot to beat these bastards and get our republic back and that's what that's if that's a legacy i leave this life will have been worthwhile thank you